This part of the car has to protect both the driver and the HTP tank, and as such it needs to be very strong and yet still remain light. The best material for this is carbon fibre. Originally developed by the aircraft industry, it wasn't long before Formula One teams started using it too. The individual filaments of carbon fibre are tiny. When thousands of these strands are combined and held together with resin, their strength increases dramatically, making them stronger than steel. These bundles can be used as they are, but unlike steel, will give strength only along their length. Further layers can be offset, or the strands can be woven into a cloth to make the material stronger in multiple directions. To make the best use of the material, the engineer needs to work out exactly which areas will be most stressed and in which direction to apply the layers of carbon fibre. A booklet is passed to the manufacturer explaining exactly how the component is to be made. Here's the process for making a carbon fibre component. Carve the required shape, a pattern, out of tooling block with a CNC machine. Cover with layers of resin impregnated carbon fibre. Seal in a plastic bag and suck out air. Place in an autoclave, which is a bit like a giant pressure cooker. Increase the pressure to 80 psi, about the same as diving to 200 feet. Heat to 60 degrees centigrade. The heat will help the resin to flow and then set. Finally, release the mould from the pattern and begin the process again, this time using the mould instead of the pattern to produce the component itself. Yumeko are currently well underway with the monocoque itself. This is the top half of the pattern being machined out of tooling block. Here we can see the lower half of the mould laid up on the pattern being vacuum packed. It's important that the plastic makes contact on all the surfaces, particularly in the corners. Once packed, the item is loaded into the autoclave. Finally, after a weekend of curing, the mould is released from the pattern. It won't be long now before the components themselves are ready.